34 to go in the third. The Leafs are down 5-2, and Igor Korolev takes a needless penalty, as you can see in the left part of that replay, where he punches the Chicago player and gets a retaliatory two minutes. And Chicago can really put it away now with this power play, leading 5-2 as we approach the eight-minute mark on the third. The Leafs can't afford to lay back too long. They have to search for a break, maybe, and get one. However, Chicago control it nicely inside the line. Audi, side of the net pass out in front was Emerson. And his shot, not much on that, missed by a fair bit. And the Leafs do get it out. Warner trying to race. The flam was there, plenty of time. And now Warner takes the puck and dumped it to the corner. The crowd trying to get Toronto to do something and get back to this game. Right here, they need a shorthanded goal. Asking a bit much as Chicago have it and come on the attack. 8.30 gone in the third period. The pile up in the corner with the puck underneath everybody. And uh, they stop the play. Bob, you did uh, the game here that uh, Canada beat yep. the Soviets 4-1. Yep, big game. They lost 7-3 in the first game, you remember, in Montreal. And here come the Soviets. And Team Canada right behind him, the point. And, and Bobby Clark, of course. Gary Bergman. Peter Mahovlich got a great <laughs> ovation that night when he scored a shorthanded goal. Look at this fake move in on Tretiak. And the place went nuts. That was the kind of goal that lifted everybody, and Tretiak remembers that. And today he's smiling, but he was not smiling then. You wanted to know who that defensive number 26 was, the Mahovlich unstrung before he scored. Leafs shoot the puck down the ice. In the penalty, 53 seconds. 5 2 Chicago. Puck is cleared in. White flipped it up behind the net for Morrow. Bearsen shoved it ahead. Sundin didn't see it at first. Now he does. He comes in with it. Checked by Kilger. Checked again by Kilger. And a third time, Kilger made the hand pass, sending Chicago out. Chelios head manning the puck. And the Blackhawks dump it in with only 20 seconds left on the penalty against the Leafs. They we're nearing the halfway mark of the third period. Big uphill climb for the Maple Leafs in this last game in the Gardens. Smith moving it up, takes his shot. And a very high one to the glass up behind Jocelyn Thibault. Again, Chicago killing it some time. Johnson centered it, no lead player in front of the net. Now they pick it off, and Gary King gets it. And a quick shot by Warner right at Thibault. And he holds it. Once again, let's visit with Scott. Bob, thank you very much. A lot of history on display in the Leafs locker room. George Armstrong, a member of the Leafs' last Stanley Cup championship team. Ace Bailey, a member of the first one in defeat, did not rest lightly on their shoulders, to be sure. Uh, the shape of this room hasn't really changed in over half a century, although the accommodations have. They dug out underneath to put a weight room in during Pat Burns' uh, era as head coach of the team. Punch him like used to have his coach's office uh, right over here behind this wall. Pat Quinn was telling me today that you never really heard from Punch unless things were going badly. But uh, now in the era of the modern day coach, Pat says that he's forced to come in here and make 42 inspiring speeches every year. Would have liked to have heard tonight, Bob. Okay, Warner shoots a puck in. Derek King. Good hustle by King to poke it away. Went in there, and then he was checked by Brown. Holy check. Trying to move it out for Chicago. And now it goes by. Old check and gets down to the leaf line where Cote turns it back. Derek King tapped it up for Johnson. Warner shot again. Stopped by Tebow. And the Chicago goalie is covering everything now, and he's seeing everything now. Saw that one. Stopped it and held it. Stop into Canadian Tire for everything you need to get your car back on track. Canadian Tire, still the right place to do it. Looking at other games around the league, and uh, Phoenix continues to remain hot. 
Canadians were starving for wins. Look like they might have one tonight. And, well, you're looking at all the other scores. 11 games in the National Hockey League tonight, but you'd never know it around here. As the Toronto Maple Leafs have 9.35 to go to pull the last game in this building at the NHL level. Out of the half, they're down 5-2, and they never really have dominated the game at all. Boston and Vancouver will be the second half of our Hockey Night in Canada doubleheader this Saturday night. 9.30 left in the third period in this historic game at Maple Leaf Gardens in Chicago. Like they're cruising to a win now at 9.20 left in the third. Hobart at his own line. Very poised, handling the puck. Confident. Now Colbert is in for checking. And the Leafs just cannot get anything going. Give credit to the Blackhawks. They're staying close to Toronto. Every move, under nine minutes left. Colbert gets into the shot, scores! Well, that's for checking for you. He was up there several times, causing problems for Toronto as they try to get organized. We're down three, trying to come back, give up a goal here. Now they're down four. Well, Bob Probert, who had only played 14 games last year because of rotator cuff surgery, walks off the sideboards, makes a little move on Markov, who played the puck instead of the man, and Probert the beats the Curtis Joseph. Here's a look at it from the blue ice. And, uh, well, Bob Pulford thinks the ceremony's starting soon, so he's down. His team is a 6-2 lead. He was the general manager of the Chicago Blackhawks for years, and of course was a mainstay in many of the Leaf Stanley Cup championship teams. Chicago lost a one-goal game last night to Detroit. And here they are, cruising at Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto in the third with a 6-2 lead. 